I've watched Ronnie for years. You know, I've always been a snooker fan. I grew up in the East End of London, where I would go from school either over the park to play football, or I'd go up to the the local snooker hall in Chingford, up Chingford Mount. Um, and then, obviously, when I moved up to Manchester, um, all we used to do after training was go to the snooker hall. Uh, me, Gary Neville, Phil, Phil Neville, Scolsey, Butty, all of us. So. You know, I've admired Ronnie for, for years. Um, so when you see him and what he's been through and all the pressures that he's been under, but all the pressures that he puts on himself as well. And, you know, I've obviously been part of a, a team sport throughout my whole career. Um, and to be in a sport like Ronnie's in, where you're sat there, I've always wondered, you know, when I've looked at Ronnie and other snooker players, because I've, you know, I grew up with Jimmy White and, Stephen Hendry and you know all of these amazing players I've always wondered what goes through their head when they're sat there so you know to be able to have a mic on Ronnie at, at such an important moment for us was was perfect you look back at the journey that he's been on uh, over the years and you know I remember him winning that first title and and I watched live his first his last title that he won and you know Without doubt, for me, in my eyes, he's one of the best, if not the best, in the game. You know, you, you hear someone like Jimmy explain him as a genius. And that's exactly what he is. You know, you sit there and you have to focus. Whatever is going on in your head, you have to focus on that moment. And yeah, it was difficult. And yes, he had a journey of ups and downs. But he is, without doubt, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, snooker player of all time. And you know, it's, and still it's, doing it, and still doing it, and and that's you know, that last that last championship that he won, it was very emotional. You know, not because we were making what we what, what we were making with Ronnie, but to see his kids there, to see his dad there, you know, that that for me was everything, and it, you could see the emotion that was pouring out of him because of that. Um, so it's a hell of a journey, a hell of a story, and I'm so glad that we. Were, were trusted to make it for him. It was exciting in my, many ways for myself to sort of like put myself under that bit of pressure, uh, thinking, right, you know, I have to deliver. You know, it's sort of, it's sort of like my rocky moment. You know, I'm in training camp. This is me now going like, you know, putting all everything into snooker, which I haven't always done. You know, I've always sort of tried to enjoy it and not really commit totally to it. Um, but once I decided to do this, it was all about, you know, this is I've got a really like. Sell my, you know, give myself totally to snooker, and um, and I didn't want to watch it back and think, you know, I let myself down, and yeah, I quit there, I quit here, I won't really give it 100% now. I think also as well, you know, at some point when I do stop playing, it, it's nice to um, for my family and my kids' family when they have kids and children to be able to stick the DVD on or whatever they put on at that time and just go, look, that's he was your great great granddad.